One special day is one of the two major events that a uh, special effect is running every year. The other one being uh, Game Blast on um, February. Um, and much like every year, I run a donation campaign. There is a link that you can donate to in the show want. Da, 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 da. Which currently stands at the goal of a hundred pounds, having reached the middle of fifty pounds. Which fifty is enough. So what special effect does is the repurpose gear or completely reconfigure it in order to be used by people who were either born with a disability or due to an accident. Also, ended up being unable to game, and through the special hardware, they get the chance to either discover the joy of gaming or learn to game again. The midway goal there, that is 50, is enough to create a custom uh, or to customize a joystick on a controller while the hundred is enough to create a custom controller for someone to use with one hand. Welcome to Born to be Wild, our fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons campaign based in based on in the campaign setting The Explorer's Guide to Wild Mount, written by Matthew Mercer of Critical Role. My name is Dark Insanities, I play a tiefling sorcerer called Pelaios. I exist on the internet. That's about that. Hi Fuji. Oh, hi. I'm Peter. I play an elven druid called Bellanor. And surprisingly, I also exist on the internet. Wow, I was so busy typing commands and to try and beat Pixie to it. I forgot to talk. Um, hi, Dave. I'm Dave. I play the Gwil on Wheel and don't follow my Twitter. Yeah, that's fair. Just don't do it. <laughs> he's just not even don't. gonna. He's not even gonna tell you what his Twitter is. He's just gonna say, "Don't um follow up." I mean, um, we'll we'll put it this way. He specifically told me to mute him until further notice. That's yeah, fair. it's been ter- Is it, it, it me? Has or is... been absolutely terrible lately. Uh, make Vixie slightly quieter. There we go. Hi, Vixie. Hi, I'm Vixie. I play the human ranger Lazana, and I can be found on Twitter at rsvixieros. And hi, Rocky. Hi, I was a flail snail. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, best introduction. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, you know me. I'm the one who's keeping uh, this bunch of ragtag folks going with whatever the case that might be. And uh, I... I was just streaming a little bit earlier, so you got a little bit of a sneak peek at some maps uh, that were to be coming up, and I'm sure that you can understand where those maps might be going, given some various specific looks. Yeah, that's fair. I was very carefully not saying the name, just because I didn't know if other people knew it, and I know exactly where we're going based just on the one map, because I spend too much time reading source books, apparently. Anyway, um... This episode will be up on Friday on YouTube and I might actually finally remember to get back into the habit of scheduling tweets in advance to talk about them because I've forgotten for like a month and a half because I'm terrible at self-promo or frankly anything promo. Um, exclamation campaign or just on the timer will give you a link to the full YouTube playlist if you have in fact missed any of the preceding 14 episodes. We're on episode 15 and we're not dead yet. I feel like we're yeah. doing something, yeah, I feel like we might be doing something wrong. Um, but yeah, go, um, follow them, watch them, favourite, like, sub them, whatever stuff. Um, if you're watching on Twitch, then the left-hand side of your screen will have the D&D Beyond overlay, which you can use to see all of our, um, character stat type things, um, and our full character sheets. The commands in chat, which have been so ably provided by Vixie, will give you links to all of our character sheets and... All of that sort of nonsense. Um, everything you actually see on the stream itself and on YouTube is done in Roll20 for all of the maps, the mainstream view, the backgrounds, all of that, and all of the rollings are done through there. 
Um, unlike most time streams, there'll be no alerts making noise or visible on the screen when we are in the live game, and we will mostly um, be ignoring chat um, verbally for when we're not, you know, in the middle of being flailed to death um, and then slimed. Um, we will um, type in chat. Lastly, the rules. Number one, the DM is always right. Number two, players can try to change the DM's mind. The DM is still always right. Number three, viewers are not players. You don't get to argue. Hi, Rocky. Hi, hi. I'm just making sure all the money is ordered because you got a payday last time. Payday. Cool. But yes, uh, who would like to recap that... Uh, weird little encounter from last time. I almost died. We were walking down the road, there was a loud noise, someone uh, screamed I mean, flail snail. If, if, if I didn't roll well, I would have died. That can be said just trying to get up out of bed with your dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we were walking down the road going to look for someone official so we can try and be nice and beg for work. Um, someone screamed flail snail. A flail snail appeared, as long as a method. Um, which, depending on whether or not you passed your passive perception check, um, was one shot by Belanor. Um, otherwise it was bribed to go away by Lissana, um, depending on how much you believe me when I roll a deception check of ten. Um, and we sold a giant snail shell for like 200,000 gold pieces or something. I may be exaggerating slightly. I think it was like 5,000. Um, it was five. Yeah. And yeah, I think that basically is what happened. Yeah, I didn't try to lie to you, Vixie. That's a perception of 15. <laughs> Lazana wasn't even paying attention to, to Palaio. She yeah. was off on the I map, might still map, have... map trying to get I might still have. Back. I might still have convinced you, other than the fact you're literally the one who bribed it to go away. Though, had I rolled a natural twenty on that and convinced you that you never did that, that would have been really funny. As funny as Lozano talking a minotaur out of a fight. I mean, about equal. Oh yeah, also um, Lissana got a pet something fox. Is it chromatic fox? Chimeric. Chimeric. It begins at the beginning of the sea, it's probably fine. A chimeric fox which changed colours when it bored when it's bored. Um and which Baha can kill in literally one attack if Baha gets bored or and or hungry. Um I have my fingers crossed. I mean that also applies to most of us. True. So, with all of that figured, you are, I guess you could say, you were actually starting to get approached by a, a dark elf in sort of, you know, Aurora Watch armor, now that everything has been relatively settled. Uh, but they introduce themselves as being a part of, let me find my words here, as a part of Den Oleus. And that you have uh, particularly gotten sort of the interest of a captain who has been dealing with issues similar to flail snails uh, as of late and for you being able to readily handle them uh, is inviting you over to particularly the uh, towards the outskirts where the Aurora watch is stationed I'm just following the dwarf at this point. That seems like a good um, idea. I agree. He, he's the one who he's the one who's taking the lead on um making cozy with the authorities. So. Oh right, I was I was doing that. Were we still doing that? We were walking to. We were look at go, walking up towards what looked like the centre of town, where the important people would be. When we got mildly interrupted by a fucking flail snail. 
true, but now we have money. We were going to do that for the money, weren't we? Yeah. I think you were also probably trying to do that for good graces as well. Yeah, uh, good graces is fair, yeah. Um, There's only so much power we... you can buy with money, and we don't have that much money. Did we maybe see someone who might have... Um, led the guards that took care of the flail snail area after we were done there? Well, as I did say, you were approached by someone from Den Oleus currently, and uh, because you have been able to succinctly take care of that snail, uh, the, one of the captains of the Den Oleus Aurora, Aurora Watch is interested in speaking with you all. Oh, that sounds great. Okay, let's do that then. Sorry, I'm very tired. Just, just, just to have that as a warning. Warning taken. So. The most of us have. Yeah. So this dark elf, relatively well built, you know, clad in sort of breastplate and chain armors that are, you know, of that Jorhasian make, very well, sleek, fine, divined, and uh, they introduce themselves as uh, as Huras. H U R A S. Is someone putting that into the party notes? Hello? Yeah, I'm doing it. Just uh, checking the thing. H U R O S. A S. And it does seem to be that it is very, very fortunate that we are. Coming to find someone who is able to take care of such a threat so readily, and it is quite interesting. You do not seem to be from Jorhas, from what I can tell the way you hold yourselves. At least not originally. We came to this side of the border in search of information and artifacts that we have heard are around here as i kind of prop up my shield and so it gives you a bit of a wary look when you say information and artifacts oh what uh, nature of artifacts are you speaking of the type that we we aren't necessarily affiliated with any anyone we just how do i say that in a way which doesn't get us arrested for being fucking spies please yes we are just interested in the adventuring life mm, adventuring well, as long as you don't stick your nose where they do not belong and keep your hands in your own pockets, I'm sure that things will go relatively swimmingly. Uh, you will be speaking with uh, Captain Muraki, and he will be telling you the issue that we've been having in Asarius and a couple other uh, locations. Okay. And upon leading you out to the outskirts t through sort of this sort of large army camp uh, as you see other soldiers of this watch mostly dark elves but you know with goblinoids slung on, among them as troops and all that you're eventually led into sort of a command tent where hura sort of gives a motion to where mura cube is at the end and nods his way out Okay, what was the guy that we were going to talk to? Murakib. M-U-R-A-Q-I-B. Which I can spell if need be. Yes, please. I got it as well. Both names of reference.
this sort of older looking, I guess you could say, in their own regal standing, just sort of with an experienced tactical eye, just motions to sort of pretty basic seats, just stones, logs. Since not exactly too many chairs that you can get out sort of on an outskirt sort of area. Seat, seat. So you are the four who had taken care of a flail snail running amok in Osorius. Yeah, it was fun. And you are whom? What was her name again? We had a name one, didn't we? We're all going to die. Shadow Lights is the name we managed to come up with somehow. Yeah, the, the Shadow Lights. Curious. And each of you, your names? Um, my name is Vaquil. I am Pelaios. Thank you. I'm Belenor. Lizana's only half paying attention. She's still paying attention to the fox in her arms. And there's a bit of a... <clears throat> Ma'am. She looks up. Oh, hi. Sorry. Lizana. Pleasure. Well, I am sure that at least maybe one of you are familiar with what a flail snail is in its origins. Are we familiar with it? Lasana is, I'm... I think it was. Was it? It was, it was either Lasana or Belenor who made the jerk or something. I think it was Lasana. It would be Lasana, yeah. Yes, Lasana, you would know that specifically a flail snail and that method you spotted are particularly elemental in nature. So they come from an entirely different plane and usually don't get into the prime material unless they have slipped through uh, something, uh, sort of a crack or were summoned in most cases. I'm going to share this information. Yes, yes, well, it seems to be that it. we are unsure if most of these events are connected, but we are having more, I guess you could say, uh, planar visitors in Johas as of late. Yeah, particularly, it seems to be relatively specific, at least in this area. And we will say that there are some opportunistic folk here who are taking advantage of the more bestial looking elementals to sell them as, a, how you would say, uh, upscale bargains. Pets, you mean? Okay. Mm, not just pets. A flail snail in itself, if given a right roaming ground and food enough, will be able to produce material that is quite sturdy and valuable in its own right. But there are other particular creatures who are uh, do not deserve to be treated as such. And we are looking for a particular ring who is... Uh, smuggling such creatures. The escape, we can tell, is from a particular area. And let's just say that having one of the Aurora Watch being able to infiltrate such a thing is a bit difficult. Oh, so you're telling us to infiltrate it? We are looking to at least get some names, if you would be able to pick up a particular job for a couple suspected groups, we might be able to get a lead in order to take it down. We just need a few names, that is all. And doing so would put you very well in the Aurora Watch's favor, which would do you very well in your house. Well, everyone, infiltration? Uh, I, I, I mean, sure. It's why it's a pose. It's something we can do, eh? 
you would already have yourselves a small name as uh, rumors will be going around, but you have quite a steady hand on you, and elementals are definitely a bit harder to handle. So if you happen to find something on a job board that is particularly with uh, transporting something relatively difficult, you might be able to uh, figure your way after proving a task to them, get a name or so, and from there, being able to turn that over to the watch. So what you're saying is do a job, get paid, and then tell you what we found out in that job? Well, in a sense, yes. Well, okay. I'm okay with that. That sounds good. Uh, that sounds um, good. Uh, sh sure. Is there any questions you may have for me in this particular instance? Uh, um, um, elemental um issues you've been finding are they um um all the same sort sort of um element mental or are they from all all of, all, of, all around? Not just elementals. I did say that we were having various planar visitors, so not just the elemental sort, but those that could be seen as similar messengers to those from beyond the Divine Gate. Uh, um, cool. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. Of course. Is there any specific names uh, we might be looking for on the job boards? Uh, we have been hearing that there has been some. Let me let me go through these papers. There is a uh, goblin named Fulus who has been selling some interesting profits in their homages. And on top of that, there is, let me see what this other merchant is called. Pedagang. Pedagang has also been uh, particularly of note with uh, being able to sell curiously large and dangerous war beasts. Okay. Just uh, out of curiosity, since you say different planes, are you saying there's also fiends and demons coming through? Things which may be classified as such, but are bestial in appearance. Yes. Okay. Interesting. I blink nervously at that. Um, you see, um, the quill's eyes not really go in a kind of interesting as, oh, that's interesting to him, but more in a way of, I want to vanquish these beasts. Ooh, I want a cow shot. <laughs> Anything that's not natural to him, you know. Extra plane creatures are perfectly natural, just not on the material plane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Would you vanquish yourself if you end up in the Nine Hells? I'll get That's back to you. <laughs> that is a good question. I'll get back. I'll get. I'll back. I'll get back to you. <laughs> did anybody write down, down the name? Uh, I did not get those ones down. No. 
Uh, can we get those names written down, Rocky? As soon as I'm not interrupted in the middle of drinking some water, sure. All right, Fulus and Pedagang. And one of them is a goblin, and the other one? Other one is hobgoblin. Okay. Pedagang was the one who was selling the particularly big, violent, nasty. I yes. think is what you said around, yes. Just, just to verify, is either of these names uh, the person who sold Fixie her fox? Oh no, remember? Oh, I'm the only one that was thinking that. I'm no, just... remember? Just making sure. Remember the one that sold... Uh... This is a... A knoll sold Vixie the Fox. Okay, I'm just, I'm just making sure here. In fairness, the knoll was kind of suspicious, and I'm already thinking we should go back and uh, investigate the pet shop just in case. In, in fairness, Lissana was alone when she went to buy the fox, so the rest of yes, us, the rest, that's the rest what, of us that's don't why know I'm that. asking about it. Like, I'm not asking yeah. it like in character. Yeah, yeah that's fine. be an idea to bring up in character. So, I I got Elara from a pet shop, and the person there was acting kind of fishy leading up to the cell. <laughs> Maybe we should go and check that out. We're still in front of this guy, by the way. Well, it seems to be that you may have ideas and needs of your own. Please, do go on. Do not let me keep you. Thank you, thank you for your time. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bef before you go, I have I have one last question. What is exactly the reward for helping you besides being very known? Well, I am sure yeah. that having some favor with the Aurora Watch may be of some use. To you, especially if you plan on going to any of the cities. That's true. Okay, carry on. I should be able to say likewise, little fellow. <laughs> Guy does not like me. <laughs> I mean, can you blame him? <laughs> it's okay, Lazana ignored him, so he probably doesn't like her either. I mean, he's presumably still at the point where he assumes we're spies and is giving us the chance to prove either that we are or that we might not be. Fair. Uh, well, we're going to this pet shop, I guess. Uh, that that seems like a, a, yeah, de a decent, yeah. decent pet place to okay, start. Okay, so. What is the plan? Is the plan that we act like we're going to buy a pet and see if he shows us any fey animals or other types of animals? Uh, that, that it seems like like it might might be a um good uh good good place to start. See if um we can can okay. convince him. We can also just uh, say that I came back to pick up some food for Alara. Yeah, but that doesn't get us, like, if he has things in the back, then getting food isn't going to help us. That is good, yeah. Yes and no. Distraction while you guys go and check out the rest of the place. Uh, because even if we might ask, work. there's no guarantee that we're going does to get Lissana, a free Does Lissana remember the layout of the, like the layout of the shop were we talking 
front room, back room, no other entrances other than the main entrance. Does would Lasana remember this and or know or have seen enough for no. us to actually Lasana was too too interested in furry critters. Naturally. Uh, we're, 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 um, I'm going to go ahead and assume I asked that in character and got a response more or less in character, even though I actually didn't ask in character, but whatever. Um, um, no, you it, should ask in character. Yeah, I should, but it's going to take five times as long. <laughs> um, g g given um, that we um, don't um, know... The, I'm assuming we've also left the building and at this point are walking along. Um, mm, given yes. that we don't um, necessarily um, know the layout of the, the building, I think... Um, Possibly tr trying to um, bl bluff our way inside M might um, poss poss possibly work b b uh, b better. Okay, so we should probably then figure out like our roles because I think it's pretty clear that I don't lie. Or snake. Well, I was gonna say yes. We need to start mindful. Definitely can lie. And someone who is not the walking bell. So. <laughs> I mean, fair. <laughs> um, I, I, I could, um, I, I, I could, um, just, just, um, w w w walk in, um, as someone l looking, um, to pr uh, purchase, um, exot and an ex exotic p p pet pet um perhaps um with um may maybe um the bad the bad bad as a um bodyguard good kind of bodyguard or um some something not 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 um the son of cups who's um already been seen um not the um bell because because he's um useless at this at this um Perhaps that might um, work. I'm okay with that. Perhaps that might work, yeah. And I assume you guys can check what you can find out from outside or something. That could work. Am I currently dressed well enough to pass for someone who would be that sort of buying an exotic fancy pet potentially for a lot of money or. Am I dressed more at the level? Because we did we buy we bought new your house and clothes, didn't we? We bought new because our house yeah. clothes, yeah. Um, were but they... we did buy it in the city. We did buy it in that shitty place. Yeah. Oh, oh where I'm am I more. am I more dressed as my master wishes to purchase? Like... You've got yourself a, a set of common clothes that uh, are your Hassian. So it could be a case that you. Uh, you could look at someone else you know, or you've just recently come into some money, sort of thing, you know. Not cool. one to judge, as long as you have coin. Cool. Um, so, ignoring almost everything I just said, um, before we go in, I'm going to find a moderately quiet corner um, and use this guy's self. <laughs> uh, because that's a thing I can do. Um... Which lasts for like an hour. Uh, I will use a disguise self to. I mean, we've been around. Rel have, have we seen any quote unquote affluent looking people walking around? Because we've seen the Aurora Watch, so you know, which is more of a military style outfit. You, as opposed you've probably to... seen sort of various uh, mercantile sort of things, but nothing that would be like, you know, Noble. You've seen various levels of mercantile fashion. I will. Okay, I will use this guy's self to make myself. My appearance isn't changing, um, but the clothes and everything that I'm wearing, all of that, is going to be basically as affluent as I have seen um, of the style. Um, that I can basically make myself look as rich as possible, but may not quite noble level, but I don't know. With the fake cloak of billowing. <laughs> that one might be a bit hard to fake if um proof is if proof is required. Um, <laughs> we don't have one, do we? We don't have no. one, no. Maybe we could buy one, but um that would be funny. Um, but no, we don't have one. 
Um, so yeah, something fairly affluent, which I think I could possibly pass off as, like you say, maybe not super, super rich, but someone wanting to be showy. Mm-hmm. Is what I'm aiming for. Someone rich enough to be showy, but not so rich that they're just going and buying every fancy pet in the city, because that would be stupid. Well, that done, uh, you have to be led to this particular shop. Also true. I do this just before, like, shortly after we go in, so I assume we're being led first, but yeah. Give myself a maximum, course, yes, yes, maximum yes. time in the shop before it, suddenly I turn into a adventurer in the middle of it, because that would be awkward. Do you remember what this shop is called? No. I remember the way oh. too, but not what the name of it is. Tuck and Tail. Because, remember, the Knoll's name was Tuck, and that was her tail. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That annoys me. That was glorious. No. Yes. Lazana is going no, to on. lead them in the right direction and stop like two buildings away, so she's not in not in sight of Tuck, and tell them which one it is. I'll use that disguise self right about now, and mm -hmm. so my job is to look. To be uh, silent and sturdy. I'm not going to look big. Around, I'm sturdy. <laughs> well, around me else. Can, can I explain to Alara what we're doing and see if maybe she can sniff around and see if there's anything suspicious? Uh, you'll have to give me a... You'll have to give me a bit of a... Hmm, given that, uh... I guess you could say an animal handling role at advantage since you are able to, to actually speak... Uh, with Alara on that matter. That's good. That works out pretty well, well yeah. But would probably be able to, you know, do a little poking around or even sort of convey what they do happen to know already from the shop. Depending upon your preference. I will ask the party what they would like to know. Let them know that she can give us something. Preferably if you're... You, you talked... Oh, I'm not going to question it. Um, maybe if the pet know... If, if, what's her name again? Alara. If Alara knows... If something is in there that Alara has never seen before, there is lots of things that Alara has never seen before in there. I uh, I, I didn't have that know how else to describe it. Does something seem weird in here? Everything smelled like it was from the area. I'll let the party know that. Yeah, mm. there can still be something like in a cart somewhere around the corner. You know what I mean? Out of smell range, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I sort of motion to Bellinor and basically walk in look make in a self-important sort of way and i'm just here to, I'm, I'm just looking tough right that's all i'm doing pretty much yeah i mean, I mean the, are you joining, us are you are joining you... or are you staying outside yes so, no, okay. no 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 I'm, I'm i'm like being should i stand at the door i will i will stand inside at the door and i'm gonna try and look menacingly Look like a bodyguard? Yes. Well, at least Do we'll I roll be, something for that? At least we'll be safe from all of the um, ankle biters which may come after me and try and assassinate me in the middle of the day. Well, we'll, we'll see exactly how that goes if it ever comes into play, Karen. So, finally getting into the shop, there is the little 
ring as you sort of cross that threshold, and the uh, the knoll does sort of push away from some curtains at the back, large, looming, but that's sort of just how a knoll looks with her slightly slumped posture. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Tug. This is Tuck and Tail. I am Tuck and this is my tail. But what can I do you for? What can I do you for, good sir? Uh, hello. Um, I'm looking. Um, I'm in the market for some exotic. Um, a, a pet, a, a pet, basically. But I'm looking for something. Um, e- exotic. Um, something. Can we pause a second? Is it, is are you actually talking like this? Are, are we hearing you talk like this for the first time ever? Yes. Okay, just making sure. Mm-hmm. Um. um a, the quill's mouth is open. <laughs> um, <laughs> um. So, um. Yeah, with fears. Um. What sort of? Not the not the standard everyday sort of pet. You know, the um more flashy um sort of thing. And I will slightly jingle the coin purse that I have to indicate that yes, I can in fact afford Dash. this. Are we talking more of a sense of flashy in a literal sense, or are we thinking more flashy as in colorful, or exotic as in probably from a difficult region? Are we looking for fur, feathers, scale? Um, that's a good question. That's a good question. How about um something not from around here? You know, something that suggests well traveled. Um, not um. Scaly, scaly might might be um in- interesting. Um, but yeah, so- something that speaks of well traveled. Hmm. Let's see. I think probably the best I might be able to find is something. Oh, uh, it might be a bit difficult though. Let's see. Scaly, flashy, traveled. Hmm. Usually don't get anything too skilled due to sort of the regions. It's relatively cold, but I think I may have something from the moorland that might be of interest. Just a moment. As there is a turn to the back room, general barking and noise of birds and other beasts, and barking from also a tuck as they are trying to you know just be louder than them. Can I? listen to here which i am inevitably going to fail because i won't have a clue but if i hear anything that distinctly sounds like it's not local you know sounds like it's something we might be looking for you mean you mean that it sounds like it's not in this world yeah out of this world is anything is anything screaming in fireplane (laughs) for example or whatever like Okay. I'm well aware that yeah. I'm not going to be able to tell, but I'm going to try anyway. Because I could always right. roll a natural uh, 20 and it would just be like, well, I'll take that. Alright, this will be a stage check. Let's have it first be a uh, a perception check. This is going to go well. It did. That's my, that's my kind of rolls. Dave! Why did you give me your dice? <laughs> <laughs> Given the din of noise and the knollish bark from Tuck herself, you are not quite able to discern any particular noise. It is just a cacophony of noise, animalistics. But eventually, coming back, uh, there is a sort of small cage with a cloth over it that uh, Tuck comes out. Okay, you said exotic. You said flashy, something scaly. I have this and upon throwing off the cloth or at least pulling it off you see this small blue lizard probably about the size of your hand sort of looking around eyes sort of going this way and that every once in a while uh, a tongue coming up to lick across its eyeball hmm. you know that distinctly that this uh, cage has a metal bottom, but everything else seems to be covered in leathers and wood for this cage. 
That is fascinating. What is it called? What is it? What is it? Uh, give it a tap on the bottom. You'll see. I do. <laughs> and as you give a tap on the bottom, it startles this blue lizard who begins to scamper around and turn, and you actually see it start to emit sparks from its body. Ooh, that's literally really flashy. Yep. <laughs> but as you see, all these sparks are grounding themselves into the metal plate below. Uh, shock, lizard. It's like, first I was thinking, how am I going to have to subsequently talk myself out of buying this? And yet... <laughs> um, um, I will... Um, no, is it... um? How safe is it trained? Does it kind of be trained? Is it, um... Oh, well, I've been trying to, but, you know, lizards seem, seem to have a bit of a mind of their own, not to mention uh, handling this sort of thing is a bit, um... a bit of a shocking experience. Um, oh. Rocky? Yes? I'm... It, the moment it seems like Dark is out of his wits of how to try and get a more exotic animal to show up, I will do something. Uh-oh. Well, well, it does depend on when he's out of his wits on that. Thanks rapidly. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Um, I will um, nudge Bellinor, or signal to Bellinor, um, and say, um, so you're you're you'll be ex expert. Um, what what do what do you think? I am still shocked that he can talk. So. <laughs> Might have to be that. I, I assume what, that what is do you, the. Uh... What do you what do you think? Is it house trained? Do you think it would be suitable for what I need? Or not? Is it house trained? Is it um? Would it is it, is it um healthy? Is it um? relatively safe is it um would it be suitable for my needs do you think i guess uh that is sort of like key words i assume from what you're trying to say there dave is uh is this thing natural uh, no i'm i'm more i'm no i'm more uh waiting for a point where i will become too um um, impatience where I'm just going to walk forward and be oh, like uh, yeah didn't you start uh, this conversation impatience <laughs> well uh, Fritchie uh, are you going to be inspecting this lizard more in uh, was... could it be trained or is it is this curious little lizard elemental or not that was a, well, that was a bug to ask yeah uh, then it would be a nature check to understand if this thing is natural or not Uh, this is actually a natural creature. The uh, shocking mechanism does happen to be uh, something that is, I guess you could say, predisbuilt, and in it just happens to be a curious adaptation in a marshy area wherein groups of these things could defend themselves by emitting a larger burst, which would be quite nasty if something happened to be in the water at the same time. Are you telling me they're lizard Pikachus? Yes. They have electric eels with feet. That lizard is adorable. I sort of but... want one as a pet, and I also know that Palaios doesn't, and I'm now struggling to reconcile that. Uh, how, how, how much would it cost? It be too common. Is that what you say out loud? Yeah, a bit... You know, not enough, not classy enough. Not exotic enough, rather. I see, I see, I see. Uh, do you have anything better? Can you improve? On... Uh, uh, not on the scaly side, no, no. At this How point... about something... Okay, 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 no. The quill can't stand it anymore. The quill is going to grunt, look menacingly, walk over, point at his thing, tap on his armor, and make 
make his little dragon like pop out and say S something more exotic than this. Oh, well, that is a very exotic, I must calm, say. Calm, calm. Is it for sale? Down. Not for sale, no. But yes, his point is well made. Something m more exotic than his pet. Mm. I will also sort of shoo Vak back to the door. Oh. I, I will go back to the door. No, I don't have anything of that sort. Probably most exotic would be that sort of lizard. I do have some other curious uh, furred beasts, but definitely nothing that is too strange like that. Okay, last question. Do I think he's lying? That would be an insight check. Ooh. Nailed it! More or less. It's a 20, I'll you take it. there is full honesty in Tuck, and that she is just, you know, she only has so much that she has, but, you know, little, simple, small pets, and... Yeah, I thought I thought that was probably the case, but I should put I should probably check. Very well, very well. Uh, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I may return in the future if I need something mm. more like this. This is genuinely a fascinating creature. Thank you. I'll definitely keep a hold of it, but you never know who may come by and buy it before. This is fair. This is fair. Business is business. Anyway, I will. They turn around and leave, assuming the other two are following me. Mm. Do they know anyone else who might be able to book you such a pet for us? I assume this is you asking on your way out, or is this you yes, said you? asking you, not asking you to ask. Oh, uh, this valid, valid point. Um, do you know anyone else who may also um, be, be in the uh, business, be in the business who may have? Um, different supply, a uh, different supply to you. Mm, of such small sort, mm, mostly they have things that are local. I'm the only one with good contacts on the river that do get things coming in and out of the strange nature. Not to mention nobody really gets in my way when I get to the barge and get first pick. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> of course, of course. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you for your assistance. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And yeah, I leave. And more or less, as soon as I think I'm out of sight and hearing range, I basically just start breathing heavily, having what could best be described as a nervous breakdown. Um, or something. Um, and... Okay, 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 that... Um... Oh, okay, 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 that, uh, did, uh, um, did, uh, did, um, 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 yeah, uh, um, went, um, um, uh, not, 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 ter ter not terribly. Um, I have basically, he has basically been holding all of his normal stuttering or whatever back for the last several minutes or however long it's been, and it's suddenly all punching his speech in the face at once. And he's... yeah. Rocky? Yeah. I, I will... So I understand that Lay on Hands is technically for healing, right? Can I use mm. it as a soothing thing to try and calm Elias down? Uh, his particular thing is an ailment of the mind, not an ailment of the body. Okay. So I can't, like, soothe people. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could give him a hug and a back massage, but it won't work in my case anyway. <laughs> yeah, you'd probably only get the back of his legs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will... He had beans for breakfast. Since, since the quill is cutting the dumb and... It's probably just gonna make it worse by doing it. He's just gonna stand next to Plyos, hit him on the back, and say, "It's all right." Uh, 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 
um, uh, let, 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 you did let's, good. Let, 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 let's um, go, go um, back, uh, back, back, back to uh, the this on, this on, uh, and and okay. maybe um, uh, we could uh, find find a, a, a drink. A drink. Yes, that is the first time he's ever suggested alcohol before someone else has. That sounds like a good idea. I will lead us back to Lasana, and I'm going to say, Elias wants a drink. Do you once, want a drink? Once we're out of sight again, I will also drop the disco itself. That's a thing. Because otherwise it will just drop when I'm in the middle of the street or something and it will be really awkward. Rocky? Yes? I have no idea if this is a thing, but I'm going to use my dwarven intuition to finds the bar that seems like it would have the strongest alcohol of the city. <laughs> the, you... the well-known dwarven special ability, detect alcohol. Yes! <laughs> Are you proficient with uh, brewer's, brewer's tools? I think I am, yeah. Well, uh, roll me brewer's am tools... I? With yeah, intelligence. Yes. Very surprise. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Natural <laughs> twenty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I cast detect alcohol. Side note, Rocky, you need yeah. to homebrew that as a spell and just attach it to the second level of his um shield just because for just for lols. <laughs> From what you know about how brewing goes, uh, you know that you will be wanting a location that is that has good water, that has some good vegetation nearby as well as a way to keep things regulated from what you can look around and know and with a little bit of asking around uh, you want to go to an area known as the pit as that, that sounds like an excellent that, place no that is just the area that happens to be an area where things are a little bit lower in terms of there are various little valleys and things that have been dug in in order to keep some more rowdy bees going on, but that also has a area of flowing water to readily keep uh, these beasts hydrated. And because they are so close to larger beasts, various refuse and decay allows for plant life to be relatively interesting in that area. So probably some very interesting sorts of brews not to mention you can do some very interesting things with alcohol with byproducts of animals. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, lead the group to whatever bars in that area. And from what you can go through on that area, you find a particular bar called Nasher's. Nashers with a G. Nashers with a G. Yes. Oh, at the beginning, right. Okay. Yes. Silent G. I, that was confusing me for a moment. I'm just going to spend all my gold here, probably. I'll be honest. That's a lot of gold. That's over a thousand gold. I mean... They don't you have know, that much like alcohol, right? For his horse. I, I can tell you right now, from my experience in other games with Rocky, there is drinks that are a thousand gold. Don't forget that Vic will still has Lazada for his horse. The problem okay. is, is that, is that, that uh, Vic Wheel is currently busy with his weakness for the vices of the city. 
Meanwhile, yeah, we're going to go a bit of an addict. More and see what she can find. Because she doesn't drink. All right. Okay. Well, Nasher's seems to be sort of a very interesting locale. Definitely gnolls, goblins, everyone, gnolls, goblins, some orcs as well, but it is, looks to be a relatively rowdy place, and it reeks, reeks of various alcohols. How about this, Blyos? Does, does this look good? Up, 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 yep, yeah, yeah, sure, 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 um, yeah, this is, this, this, this is, this is up, fine, fine, fine. Okay, I take him in, and... Is there, do they understand here that dwarves like alcohol? I'm, does, do they understand that on this side of the border? Well, how many dwarves do you see on this side of the border? Yeah, zero. Uh, fair. I mean, is there not, like, the where, the, the, what are they called? Do a go. Uh, you do probably do see a do very bare, only maybe a Dorgar here and there. Are there any in this bar? You can give me a perception check. That was almost a 20. <laughs> yeah, well, if, if it wasn't for the missing zero. Well, uh, you aren't able to quite tell just due to the amount of other large bodies in the way. Okay. That seems fun. I uh, mean, if you take uh, the perception roll and your modifier and then stick them together, you get 20. Thank you. I'm going to walk inside... Does it seem like a place where you just go to the bar and order, or does it seem like a place where you sit down and people come to you? Uh, it looks to be that it's mostly get to the bar and order. Okay, we'll go to the bar. Is Belinor with us? I was going to say I was waiting for you to finish. While they are doing that, I'd be looking around to see what I can find about uh, the traders were sort of... Uh, after pretty much uh, sticking with uh, Lasana looking at the other uh, job boards yes okay uh, I'm gonna walk to the bar and say I haven't had good alcohol in weeks and from my experience from just looking around a little bit and just researching you have the best alcohol. What the goblin sort of me? pulls himself up from under the thing and like, what? You have to speak up. Okay. You have good alcohol, right? Probably sure. the best. Probably. Okay. What's the best stuff you can give me and my friends? You want to stay on your feet or on your butt? I kind of look at Pelias. Uh, Sure. Honor of butts. Rack wine. Definitely want rack wine. How much is going? Is that going to be one for each? One for each of us. Two glasses, twenty gold. I fucking knew it was going to be expensive as all hell. Uh, yes, I'll pay for it. 20 gold. gold down and two bottle two two mugs of rack wine which seems to have a thick pour to it and a very deep crimson color okay i'm just gonna sit down in a table take polilos with me put down the two mugs and i'm just gonna look at him and see what happens well before we uh, get to that uh Fritchi and Lasana, can you give me a couple of investigation checks as you're peering at the board? A 14 and a 13. Both of you are able to spot it just about at the same time. Uh, 
for a job for a recaging of a lion. But the name is for Pettigang. And it notes, very ornery, hard to hold on to, 50 gold per hand help. Can I discuss with the fox and see if it knows anything about this creature, or would Lazana know anything about it? Well, from what you probably wouldn't be able to speak to uh, Alara at this point in time because Alara's mostly been in that pet shop in an area that was nowhere near the pit. And you can make your own assumptions from what you know about lions. I know what I know. I don't know what she knows. It's a beast. You're familiar with big cats. You were near the jungles. That's fair. Um... Yeah, this seems out of the ordinary. That is definitely the name that we're looking for. Given where they went, do you think they'll even be any help with this? I guess we'll have to see. As we cut back... Two things of rack wine. I'm 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 intensely staring at Lyles and going, go on, go on. Uh, he doesn't outright drain the entire thing, but he does take a decent swig straight out. It's mm-hmm. by no means a sip or anything like that. It's very much a. This is a full mouthful. Full mouthful. All right. Can you give me a Constitution saving throw? Oh, yeah, I have proficiency in this. It'll probably be fine, right? <laughs> uh, is this a poison? I think that's pretty good. I still well, have the, my uh, Bless modifier on from last time. Well, thankfully, with the 18, you are not spitting it out of your mouth immediately. It is strong. It is brash it feels like your mouth is on fire but it also feels like you're tasting blood but it's not your blood and it's got that sort of dank fermented taste as well but you can tell that this is strong stuff and you're already starting to feel your your vision sort of wobble a little bit after that big sip I am not staying behind, and I'm going to take a big sip, too. <laughs> Naturally. Mm-hmm. And you can give me a constitution saving throw as well. Oh, would you look at that? The dwarf rolls yep. dwarfishly. Mm-hmm. Dwarf rolls quite dwarfishly. You are able to sort of discern that, yes, this is strong stuff, and if you continue to down it down without pacing yourself, you would find that you are going to have a, a a time on your butt. I mean, you get what you pay for? Yeah, yeah you get what you pay <laughs> for. Uh, would I uh, have like a comparable idea of a, this type of alcohol in the Empire? Uh, you can give me an intelligence with your brewing supplies. It seems quite unique, and probably it's due to the area they are spent in thereof, so you can't quite discern what might be comparable in the Empire. But you probably have an idea that there is something funky, some plant that is quite strong and sugary to create that big alcohol burn, and it probably uses some blood from what you can taste. No. Oh. Good. I'm guessing where I'm from, they mostly use metals in the weird alcohols. Uh, they generally, with the, the alcohols from what you are used to, they play with the minerals okay. in order to get sort of various unique tastes. Okay. So this is like actual like foreign to me. Quite. I mean, you are okay. somewhere foreign. <laughs> 
Yes, I know. But like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just wondering. Okay, so having just taken a swig of something he should probably have been sipping, um, he puts the um, glass back down on the table and is probably at this point swaying on the bench slightly. That tastes strange. It tastes like victory. Wow. <laughs> uh, uh, sure. Uh -huh. Um, I don't take another drink from it immediately. I'm going to sit there for probably several minutes. Um, allow the first oversized gulp to, um, clear my face, basically. Well, that'll take a fair bit, and I'm sure that there are a couple of compatriots outside curious to glean some new information. That seems reasonable. Preachy, Lasana, are you going to... Uh investigate specifically towards this advert already or are you going to try to pull your party from uh from don't go find, uh, anything else before we head to the party we will oh, the be only thing we uh from we that will... investigation check that was the one that got you immediately and doesn't seem to be anything from that other name or other peculiar job asks i see We don't know what the others are doing, so I guess I assume it's a better idea to regroup first. I mean, we can try it, but I'm tying them both to a tree if they're drunk. What did the tree do to you? Do we really want to let them near wild animals if uh, they can't be trusted properly? <laughs> Can, can we be trusted when we're sober? I'm just this general out of out of character question. I can honestly see Vaquil putting his head in the lion's mouth. I'm sorry, but that's probably gonna I, be a thing. I I do I do it sober too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can do it sober too. Is that true? I mean, yes, it can keep poisoning if you poison. But alcohol poisoning and just being pissed with that are different things. <laughs> neutralize a neutralize a poison. Is that true, Rocky? Can it cure? I mean, drunk. If we want to get into the biology, alcohol is just poisoning. Yeah, but uh, I'm just I'm wondering what Rocky says. Oh yeah, yeah. No. We would have to see if it would work. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> the question is whether the quill wants to be cured from being drunk. Or even realizes that he can do it because it's the Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um... So, yeah. It is... Okay. Say again, Vixie? We can try regrouping. That is uh, our first bet then. We'd be trying to regroup. All right, well, you would find where they had pointed out they wanted to go, and you remember Nasher's. It is still as rowdy sounding as it looks. Rocky, mm. with the with that 24 constitution save would i have realized that it's not smart to drink this fast yeah 
you were okay. able to tell exactly how potent it was and that yeah probably downing it all at once or within a short time is a good way as the goblin said to be on your butt <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so i'm gonna actually pace myself then but how long does it take them for go back and forth like how many how, how much would have would we have drank by then I'll say probably it was about 10-15 minutes in order to have a good look at that that particular board. If it's been less than half an hour, I probably haven't taken another drink yet since the first gulp. I, pro I probably would have. It's multiple, probably. If you had, then that's another save from you, Dave. You're, you're speaking yeah. here to a player who can literally make a bottle of cider last an entire night and still have some leftover at the end. And the character is exactly the same. That's less good. It oh, is less yeah. good, and I will uh, make a note of it for what's going to happen later. But you can definitely feel the effects. You can definitely feel the effects. You're not on your bottom, but you can probably feel that there is some detriment to you currently in terms of how your vision is waving and your muscles seem a little bit too loose. Um, okay. I'm gonna look at my drink, and I want to know, do I get uh, seasick when I'm looking at my drink? When you're holding it still? No. Yeah. No, I'm, well, I'm not steady right now, so... So I don't mm. think I'm holding it still. Well, you do see that swirl around and that sort of opposite swirl of your vision. It it makes your head hurt a little. Okay, I put it down. I try and walk to the bar, and I ask... Okay, try and walk to the bar. Can you give me a dexterity saving throw with... Uh, and a d4, please. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you try making it to the bar. As soon as you try scooting off the seat, your feet do not take on the floor as your muscles just seem too loose and you face plant into the floor instead. I'm just gonna... Well, first off, I'm gonna shout I'm... I'm okay. Barky, water, please. <laughs> there gonna... is a uh, there is a whistle and a uh, some goblinoid words that I'm pretty sure none of you happen to know. <laughs> none of us in this room, at least. No. Mm -hmm. And then there is a way made for a. Another goblin coming over with a bucket, and that bucket is poured on your head, Bequil. Okay. Excellent. How do I feel afterwards? <laughs> you feel wet, for the most part. Okay. He's really lucid enough to understand what's going on. How long has it been oh. since between your first and second drinks, Dave? Or back, or like whatever? five minutes. Maybe? The rest of the party would have reconvened at the point where they saw a bucket of water being poured on their paladin's head. Hi guys, yeah, he had a bit too much to drink. I'm still on the floor. I just kind of look like up, like, hi. You look like wet dog. That's what you look like. Yeah. So we're pretty much at the point where what, um, Belenor and Lissana have basically just walked into this bar, um, to see a barrel of water getting dumped on Vax's head. Okay, yes. I am... 
Fuck it. I am oh. not trying to get up, by the way. I am not trying to get up. I'm just on the floor now. Well, the information to be conveyed. Up, 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 up. Hey guys, we um 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 came came to find find a drink. I'm not 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 sh not sure if if um if 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 it agrees with um the dwarf. Well, why don't you take another drink and see how you do? I I think that think I may may have um um I go go cut 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 calm calm down down from the um for 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 the first one thanks I do however push it towards Bellinor but would you would you like 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 to to try I'm good thanks. <laughs> Melanor's <is> like, nah. <laughs> uh, On ground, pushed the same drink? I think not. <laughs> uh, okay, I sit, I try and sit up straight, see if I can even do that. You can slowly be able to set yourself back up with your sort of back against the bench. Okay. Still, I, uh, I just love the fact you rolled that badly. I'm just trying to. I could use someone to help me up. I I'm not sure if I can stand on my feet, but I could use someone to help me up, or at least back on the bench. Anyone? I'm not exactly strong, you know. <laughs> Dwarves are hefty creatures. I'm already sitting down. I'm going to stay sitting down. Cause... And you're pretty hefty, yeah. Oh. I'm just... I'm just staying. <laughs> I, I'm just... I'm, I look around. Is there an orc nearby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. There's one or two or around. I I kind of wave at an orc and say, "Hey, can you help me back on the bench?" Or will I get out of it? Two gold. Yeah. <laughs> so it comes over, picks you up by the collar, and just pretty much tosses you your back onto the bench. There you go. Come on. I'll give him two. I'll give him three gold because <laughs> I can't count right now. And yeah. I say, I give him five, yeah. give him free gold, and say, "Here you go, two gold." Yeah. Just pockets it, and off he goes. Okay. Uh, uh, so um, we talked to the um, um, uh, person that gave you your um, multicolored fox, uh, fox thing, um, Lasana, uh. I, d I think that um like I I don't don't think they're they're they're, they're involved involved. Um, with this. We found more information. It's fine. Um, Palios mm -hmm. will slightly but um, perk up for a better way of putting it. Um, slightly more aware and or focused at that point. Um, uh, oh, uh, uh, that, 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 that that's good. Um. What 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 did we what did what what, what did you find? Exotic a, lion. Uh, that yes. There is a listing for a lion. I I, I, I saw 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 a lion lion what lion once there was a um a uh, uh, sub sub circus and in um um put put uh. Port, port to Mali when I lived there when I was um, much younger. 
We 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 you want they want us to ca catch a light lion. Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay. Can I pet the lion? This place probably wouldn't have coffee, would it? At a place like Nasher's, probably not. It reeks of alcohol. But it may have something to help sober. Lazana's gonna go up to the counter and ask. Well, uh, there is a goblin who's just going back and forth between drinks along the whole bar. Giving you a sort of a glance out of the corner of his eye as he continues to be busy. Have anything that can sober up my friend, like, quickly? What? Speak up! <sighs> she asks louder. Ah. Oh. Sort of pushes himself further up, sort of, you know, you can see the legs sort of kicking at the back of the bar as he's just uh, trying to look over the... Oh, on his butt. Nah. Five gold. Easy here. She hands it over. Night. And he sort of trundles down, and you see, he's, you hear sort of the in and out of uh, drawers being pulled. Strange, oddly colored herbs of sort of greens with yellow splotches reds with blue tints all going into sort of this little ball that he just takes a stick and just starts mashing it hard. Not Actually, taking, enjoy all, this. taking all that refuse and putting it into a glass with various other things that he's just pouring in there, shakes it all up, pours it out with that sort of nasty clump of used up uh, plant matter. It's just like, there, shove it down. She's going to take it, walk over, and literally do what she was told to do. Do you pinch his nose at least? <laughs> no. Oh goodness! Not gonna enjoy how, how, how do you get his How do you get his mouth open? Do you uh, Do you sort of uh, push his uh, chin down a little bit, or do you just grab by the beard and pull? Can Can I try and persuade Baha to help first? How would the dog get? Very carefully. Something, something, uh, pause, and hell. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, give me a persuasion check for Baja. To convince Baja, sorry. Swear to God, God, if you roll a 20, I'm gonna get stung. 18. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough? Well, uh, Baja is familiar with what is going to be attempted. And will actually crawl out of the bag, crawl over your face, Fakuil, plant his back legs on your cheeks, and just push down with the front legs to push your mouth open as he keeps his neck craned up so you have an open mouth. He's done this before. <laughs> and easy, easy pour, and there is a horrible medicinal taste and that sort of similar burning sensation of something alcoholic, but this is just like high proof, not meant to really do anything by drink, but just mostly sterilize. And it is an awful taste and it shoots through your bones. I, the moment it comes through me, I just stand up. I just look around wide-eyed. Can I stand up right now? Uh, yes. Could you give me a quick uh, strength check, right quick? F finally, something you're good at. Uh, a straight strength. Straight strength. I shouldn't have said anything, clearly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Lasana, can you give me a quick uh dex? check as uh, the rapid sharp upward movement has uh, Baja going flying off of Aquil's face. 
Oh no! But there is a catch. <laughs> there is a save. catch. Last minute save. Yep, just caught like a ball. Mm -hmm. I'm going to that give was... Baha a set of rations for the help. Well, a, a ration set of rations is a lot. Remember how much that stuff weighs, but you know, probably best to continue on. But you know, you'll pass those rations off later. That was that was terrible. I never. Mm -hmm. I I want to drink that later, maybe, but that was terrible and. Maybe next time I'll drink a bit slower. Are you taking uh, your? Yeah, are you taking? Yeah. Are you taking the rest of your I drink am... with you? No, I'm not taking it with me. I'm thinking about coming back later when we've done our stuff that we have to do. Uh... Okay. Is that acceptable? Mm -hmm. I stand up and get ready to leave. It's been long enough and given I've basically saved my constitution thing, I feel it's probably okay. You're, 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 you're alright, you're alright. There's sort of like a, a okay. slight sort of turn in your foot every once in a while, but you're still hmm. able to keep stable. And... How is it that the almost non-drinking tiefling has been much more... I mean, I realise that the dwarf drunk twice as much as me, but not almost we're sensible. Non almost not rap sensible. I took a massive gulp of it straight out. Um somehow manages to be doing significantly better than the dwarf who drinks practically for a living. Albeit other people <laughs> or, albeit other people's uh, living. Are you based trying on... to talk yourself out of being safe? No. I just find it hilarious. That seems like what you're doing. I just find it hilarious. And cool. Where, where were we? Uh, lead, 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 lead on. So what were we doing? The quill has not has no idea what the fuck happened in the past ten minutes. We were discussing about a job posting that we found from Pelgan that was about catching a lion, as it said, presumably. Oh. I mean, could oh. be a lion, could be different, depending on what the guard was telling us, uh, we're getting intimate with the floor. It was specifically a cage transfer. A cage transfer. What does that mean? Transferring means from cage to cage? Probably needs to move from one cage to another for some reason, and they need extra hands for some reason. Oh. Fun. Can I bet the lion? I ask again. Mm, probably not advisable. Let's if, see if, when we if, get there. If, if if we get get that, I might need additional hands because those uh, half of the staff are missing missing hands. We may have to re 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 reconsider. Fair enough. I mean, uh, cure wounds does not regenerate um, limbs, but you can try. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cool. when you get the regenerate Earth. spell in like six levels time, if we keep Earth the hands, know this, though. maybe they might have some ideas of what's possible in the future. Won't be able to hold the shield with one hand. He knows what he has going on with himself right now. Okay. Anyways, Not I I'll I'll watch out. I guess. Uh, let's go. Belinor, you want to lead the way? Do we know where we're going? Yes, there was a particular uh, spot given toward somewhere in the pit uh, to where this uh, job was asked for. Then, yes, I guess we can uh, start heading that way. Once you do happen to sort of move yourself to where it is quite required. Let me just double check to see if I got it right. 
Yes, that is the right thing. You are met with this hobgoblin. Uh, looks like he probably was a good mercenary in his time, but has since grown uh, fat with luxury. All right. So you're the ones coming for the posting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, well, yeah, for, well, we got a stretch of the pit here, a little bit of small chasm that we got. I uh, just need to get the line from uh, its one cage so we can pick up some scraps and fill it up for another, you know, get bed and stuff fresh down, uh, and then put it the other one. It'll be one side, then the other. Uh, if you're good with uh, going down there right now, I can get the thing's looped cage out so it'll move out of the first cage. And we can uh, see how you go from there. Uh, we... uh, uh, why, why, why do, do your own people, people, people not um, do, do, do this? Because that thing has got a temper and holds a grudge. Um, so I swap oh, around okay. hands until, uh, you know, when it needs to be done. That holds a grudge? That, that, that's yeah. not, not, not really oh. sure. Are lions always that smart? I would assume. McQueel so. actually asks that, by the way. Yeah. Would I oh. be able to tell him that? Would I, do, would uh, I know you that? You can give me a nature check. In general, most animals don't seem to bear a grudge, but it might be that this one may be intelligent enough or discerning enough that it has particular dislikes for those who happen to move it. Okay. Well, let's move a lion. Mm-hmm. Let us move a lion. Paquil still has this nasty taste in his mouth, and he just wants to get rid of... get this over with at this point. That's... Uh, yeah. If you could position yourself somewhere behind these bushes, as we have this sort of large, kind of mucky, murky watering river. You mean in the bushes or behind the bushes? Behind the bushes. Somewhere along... Make it a lion? Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Oh, well, um, Osana is standing on oh. top of me. And it's their I mean, I, mean, I, I mean, you could probably can. I'm small enough. <laughs> That's the... And he did remember to point you sort of from the top of the chasm uh, which cage you'll be moving it from and which cage you'll be moving it to. The two being the cage off to the left, the from being the one in the middle. But it's not until you get down in the chasm proper that the cage bar has been pulled and you happen to see something relatively peculiar about this lion. Those are wings, aren't they? Those are wings. Question: Does it have? Uh, um, is this is is the tail a snake? No. Oh. Fair question. That's a fair question. Yes. What would I be able to understand about this animal? You can give me a uh, nature check to see what you might be able to understand. You haven't encountered anything in this kind of nature before, so you have no idea what this could possibly be in a natural sense. Is it natural? You can give me a general intelligence check, everybody, to possibly okay, get I a want... glinting. I, 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 so with natural, I mean, 
created. Or not. Is, is it an abomination, basically? Bellinor how and Foclio. How did we end up with doubles? <laughs> yeah, five, I don't know. two eights and two thirteens. <laughs> it, it's, well, bonuses and all that, so slightly different there. But, Bellinor and Foclio, you can give me a follow-up check of religion. Oh. That's possibly the lowest you've ever rolled for each Goodness, well, uh, it doesn't seem to... Un you don't quite understand that what scope it might be from Bellinor, but Vaquil, you know this thing is not natural, but it actually does come from beyond the Divine Gate, somewhere on one of those other planes. And you know that it is from the upper plain sort of deal, the more celestial side of things. I'm I'm thinking whether Vaquil I, I, first off Vaquil tells the party that. Um does Vaquil start praying? Celestial, so um, I mean, Vaquil does a little bit of a prayer, but doesn't actually start praying. How are we going to move this thing again? I, th I have a feeling it can fly. Well, what, what, what gave we'll you see that, about that, it. That, that idea? I mean, Let's have some uh, initiative. Oops. Would I, do I know the name of this thing, or do I just know it's from the Celestial Plane? It is a winged lion. It's a winged lion. Okay. That's a surprise. So, this could be interesting. Could be. Hmm. Really yeah, wasn't expect I really wasn't expecting to roll that high on the initiative, to be honest. I wasn't expecting to be going first. That's how it usually works out. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Fair. So, yeah I was so going to say, we can't from, just shoot from, it because... Yeah, we'll kill it. Yeah, well, well we might. We'll provoke if, it into killing us, yeah. We, we could just... We could just take Lasana's lead and be like, Here, kitty, kitty! I mean, do any of you speak with animals other than... Yes. Yeah, I, I know you do. Well, I don't no. think anyone else does. Speak with no, animal, no, no. and this thing is a celestial. Yeah, it's, it's not an animal. Yeah, it's, not a, it's not an animal. Does anyone here have the ability to speak with celestial? Uh, if, it, if the celestial knows common... <laughs> well, Palio, still your turn. Yeah. Um. I'm. Probably should have asked how to do this, huh? I mean, he told us get it from one side to the other. It's twenty twenty. I... Well, oh, hold on. What's the description on this one? Good. 
That's a large creature with the looks of it, yeah. Correct. Naturally. I will cast Formaturgy. Mm -hmm. And I am going to try and recreate approximately the sound of the hobgoblin the local staff the ones that it bears a grudge against basically mm -hmm. um coming from a general direction of the destination cage okay uh can you give me a deception check with that sort of what you're doing there natural 22 ah. plus six get it <laughs> <laughs> okay, noted. It no longer believes it's celestial, it believes it's actually a lion, so now the other two can talk to beasts. <laughs> that would be nice, right? <laughs> Not well, oh, it's, uh, <laughs> its attention is currently pointed over towards that cage as it's trying to discern that goblin's presence over here. That no, uh, that, that, that. Yes. You understand what I mean. Basically, it does exactly what I said it did. You got its attention, yes. Or multiple point doesn't. But anyway, Oracle, that's literally all. I'm going to stay. How big are these bushes we're hiding behind? Are they like, are we hidden, half cover, three quarter? What are we? How hidden are we knees. right now? They're up knees. to your knees. Oh, they're much more convenient ground markers than they are actual concealment. Yes. Small bush. For you, I think. Except for except for um, uh, I'm, exce I'm, I'm, I'm in half cover. Except for Vac, who's in full full cover in that case. But yeah, um, it's not very good cover. <laughs> These are you know very kind of scrubby bushes. Okay, cool. No, good to know. Um, what's so, a bit so in the middle? Cover. Not really. No. What's a bit in the middle? Is that actually like a full size pillar type thing? It looks to be probably a pillar about ten feet rising out of the water. Okay. Uh, oh, that's water. Okay. Yeah, it looks the part, doesn't it? Um, I will end my turn for time being. It's very dirty water. Hmm. I will end my turn. Eleanor, it's your turn. Is it aggressive towards us? Do we see that it's aggressive it's... towards us specifically? Mm, let's have an insight check. With an eight, you could Given the point, okay. it is currently wary of you, but it has not shown any aggression as of yet. Caution, but not aggressive. Wisdom of 18 will do that for you, Dave. Thank you. What I can do at the start here. I think I'll slightly back away a bit and so oh, no, that part like that part and I will um, keep the turn and the time here. All right, because just one moment. All right, little secret roll. Let's see this thing move. As it sort of makes sort of small bounds uh, with its wings flapping, it does appear that the flapping of the wings is very labored, or it's trying to get some lift, but it's not really getting as much as it would want. They clipped its wings. That's kind of sad. 
Very much. It's going to peer at that cage, and given that it, it, that would definitely be below your DC, it's Just still eyeing the cage very curiously, trying to discern where the heck that pedagang might be. But Quill, it's your turn. Were you rolling out about my against my spell DC of a deception check I rolled for? I'm curious. Versus the spell DC, the uh, okay. no, that's deception fine. check was to for that, but the spell DC from then on. Okay, yeah, cool. So, yeah. curious. Quill, your turn. It's I'm near the cage. I'm going to grab the rope out of my bag. Mm-hmm. Fashion a kind of what's the English word for that? Um, Collar, harness. Um, the thing that the cowboys use. Lasso. Uh, lasso. A kind of lasso, and seeing as the quill is not very dexterous, he's gonna uh, walk to Asana and say. Here, Alasso. If that doesn't work, I think you you're up. And that's my turn. Wait, wait, wait. What are you trying to get me to do? You've been past Alasso. <laughs> I mean, do with it what you will. How hard would it be to get over this water, Rocky? Oh, it's only like, you know, ankle deep. We can wade through it. Yeah, easy wade. I... Okay. You can walk back and swim. If one of us had, like, Misty Seth or Dimension Door, this would have been so simple. <laughs> I believe, at least with Dimension Door case, you require a save. Misty Step is only with Friendly. Or just Self only, I forget. Uh, Misty Step is Self only. Uh, I could have taken it. Um, but yeah, no, Misty Step is Self only, 30 feet. But all you have to do is get in the cage, shut the door, Misty Step out. Hmm. Well, anyway, so Sana, what are you doing? You've moved, and what else? Currently, I'm trying to sneak over to the cage. Alright, well, you may give me a stealth check. Not too shabby. Alright. It seems currently more interested in the cage and what might be in it, and is not paying you any mind currently, Lasana. I am... And that will end my turn. Alrighty. Helios. Okay. Uh, now I have to be closer for that to work again, effectively. Um, and there's not anything else I can do which would A, not get me eaten, or B, um, damage the um, cargo. Um, I, well, hold on, what's the 30 feet, what's the range, where am I now? Okay, based on the range of that, I, there's no way I can actually get close enough to do anything this turn. I will sneak... Uh, what's 30 feet? Hold on. Not there. Uh, can 
I get that far. I will sneak over here. That's 30 feet. Which I assume you'll want me to do a stealth check for. And I'm probably going to roll a natural one or something now. And now I've called out, I definitely will. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. And I will end my turn there because I'm still too far away, I believe. Yeah, I'm still like 45 feet away from what I would use a range of 30 feet. So I will end my turn there. Of course. Eleanor. I did realize that it's not an animal, right? Yes, so you, you have been t you have been told that it is celestial. Yes. Okay. Does that mean animal handling doesn't work on it? Well, it's not an animal. It just <laughs> exactly. looks like what? one. Yeah. Yeah, but. I, I have a serious, I have a serious question, a serious technical question about that, Rocky. Mm. If animal handling doesn't work on it, and these things are technically in the lore being trained, how are they being trained then if it's not animal handling? Persuasion checks. Various checks that are quite generic, and it's not specifically animal handling. Now, okay. who knows how this thing is trying to be trained? You never know. Okay, I'm just wondering. I mean, you don't uh, use animal please. handling to train Baha, do you? I mean, fair. I mean, Baha's kind of training me, not the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rocky's... Rocky, is, uh, Rocky right, is secretly so rolling you... animal handling to train you every week. Oh, yes, Bellin, what are you doing able to, Would I be able to tell what state the winged lion is in, as in how mm. cared it is? Uh, you can give me a... I guess you could say in terms of that... Uh, insight would be from... If you're looking for its mental state, you're looking at insight, but if you're looking for physical state, you would want to see, think about medicine. I'm gonna go with medicine because that would make more sense. It doesn't make. Oh. Uh, it seems a little malnourished, and it does seem to be that something has been done with its wings uh, in order for it to not be able to fly at its full capacity. With that, I'll be ending my time here. But also telling the others, well, how, how far are we from uh, anybody else? As in, if I said it loud enough for Vak to hear as well, would I be heard by other people? Uh, I'm pretty sure that you would probably be heard by Anyone not adjacent to you if you tried to call out to back. Then, uh, for starters, I would just um, in whisper and say to the other two that um, after we're done here, we might want to. After we're done with uh, finding out what's wrong here, we might want to come back and uh, rescue this thing. Oh, I fully intended to. Good. Palios shrugs in response to that. Trying to see where the heck that hobgoblin is in this cage. How curiously weird. Aquil, it's your turn. I... I can't get there. <laughs> uh... They opened, so they, 
uh, question. They opened the other cage door. Yes. When we were down here. Yes. So presumably they can close that cage door as soon as it's in. Or how about we do it before it gets out? Well, they're presumably watching us, so they would... would okay, no, anyway, yeah, no. Are you, it, it, are you going to transfer? They... There's, a, uh, there, there's a reaction time involved. Valid. Plus, they hired other people for a reason. Do you really think they want to even attempt doing this on their own? <laughs> Touche. They'd rather watch us die instead. I mean, wouldn't everyone? We get a bit meta there. Yeah, no. Um, I'm just. I'm, I am gonna get closer, but I am just gonna end my turn there. Asana, your turn. If I, I think I can reach like the corner of the cage. Is that enough to be able to close the door? Uh, you, you'll have to give me a check after to see how well you can close the door. Cause it and is the next door. question is, is it actually inside the cage or is it not? It is in the cage, just because of how things work. Layers are a thing, and sometimes they're not. Yeah. Alright, I will need okay. a uh, strength check from you to close the door. It is a little <laughs> oh, bit rusty. No. Uh, you don't will work. <laughs> that, 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 that's a good start. Yes. As you are able to get the door shut, though, the lion gives a turn and a bit of a roar as uh, you do shut it and lock behind it. Can I try talking to it and let it know we will be back to save it? Uh, you can give me a persuasion check. Hearing your words and your tone, it, you know, uh, it still looks angry, but it seems to understand you a little bit. Can I have my rope back? No. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Are you serious? Nice. Are you not giving my rope back? Nice. <laughs> nope. Oh my god. Someday I'm gonna. You are gonna be stuck in a hole and I won't be able to help you out of it. At that point, I can just shoot an arrow with the rope attached to it. Lol. Oh. Yeah. Pedagang is thankful for you to be able to move it and gives you each 50 gold for the help in moving this creature and was quite surprised you were able to move it so succinctly. Never um, would have thought about magic, but then again, that's how it goes. Did we have a uh, winged lion roar at any point during this fight, or was it just making quiet noises? Mm, it was mostly sort of quiet noises, just yeah. sort of... I use Formatology. Not even at the end there? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Well, at the end, it did roar, yes. I use Formatology to replicate the roar behind him. <laughs> uh, 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 it can be very, mm -hmm. very effective yeah. in some, some circumstances. circumstances. Yeah, you, you do see him jump probably about a visible foot in the air before looking around and just sort of looking at it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Good trick, good trick. Lazana speaks to Bellinor and Sylvan. He totally deserved that. Yeah. <laughs> so, money's been over. Like, Alright, thanks for the help. Uh, we'll get what we need to do done with that. Enjoy your cash. Thank you. Uh, I guess we start walking. I mean, yeah, so we could die. I assume as much. Uh, can we, as soon as we, like, make a little distance, 
I'm gonna say how about we get a move on so we can get back here as soon as possible what time of day is it at this point like are we what because I feel like we've done uh, quite a lot today uh let's see it's getting closer to the later afternoon near sunset yeah I I kind of want to get back here before they move that animal or that celestial is a good idea I guess Good question. I will be just back in a couple minutes. Please hold. We are just moving through a tunnel. Just <laughs> wait a second as we regain connection. <laughs> the, si the, 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 the signal is really, really bad here. We're driving through a tunnel. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was act actively. I was actively tempted then to um, make an argument that Lasana and Palios should take both of your shares. Um, actually, I'm. I I don't want this money. Actually, I added it, but I don't really want it. Give it to Lasana. I mean, that's a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's an uh, argument to be had. Buy your rope back. Lazana is immediately going over to Tuck and Tell and secretly donating both of the shares as here, use this to take care of the animals in this place until they get picked up. Do you do uh, like do we that. do we follow? Yeah, do we notice you do this? Is this a I mean, you can follow her if you want to, but that's definitely what she's doing. If she starts walking we're, off, we're... I feel like we would have followed. We would have followed. Yeah. We would have followed. Well, uh, Tuck is very happy for the donation. I don't go into the I shop. I stay back. I stay. Yeah, I stay back and don't go into the shop when we see where she's going. I mean, same because I uh, also don't go in. Oh, I don't know why you wouldn't. She didn't see you. But she saw all three of us. He was in the shop. He saw all three of us, yeah. yeah. Back he actually talked to her. Us. And he saw her. two of us and one disguised, but one was disguised. So. Yeah, but I said I was looked the same, just I only changed clothes and stuff I was wearing. I kept my appearance. Oh, I guess. Forgot that we didn't change the appearance. Uh, uh what's the. How 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 uh, are you, are you by buying another 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 pet that uh, this armor? No, I just figure this will help out this place and make sure that the animals here are taken care of. Why not use mm. the money from those creeps for good? Plyos says nothing and just raises an eyebrow. Well, I assume uh, now that you've done the job, you've got. A definite firm idea yeah, that a pedagang is a. Uh, we, no we need to. We need to get we to what's to his name again. It. Um, it's in the notes somewhere. What? His M name is M Murakib. 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 Yeah. Yep. Yes, we need to get to Murakib as soon as possible, mm -hmm. and then hopefully save the celestial lion. Yep. Thankfully, you are able to uh, get to the uh, outskirt encampment and report that yes mo that a uh, pedagang is dealing in uh, outsiders so you are and that they are currently sort of in the process of you know having a celestial lion a winged and lion. i want to, i want to add that if you're gonna go take care of it can we come with you so we know that that line is taken care of in a good way he uh, pulls out a stone, speaks in probably a language none of you are familiar with. Anybody know Undercommon? Nope. No. Nope. Nope. All right. So, but he speaks through a stone. What language are you uh, expecting? Not uh, true point. In Undercommon, before he sort of uh, sets it back, I've got some agents already at the ready in Astarius proper, and we can go see about that lion if we make our way there now. Okay, let's go. Let's go, yes. Yeah, I shrug and follow along.
you do get back to the pit and where uh, Pettigang has this thing going. You can hear there is a bit of a bustle and a lot of Aurora watch chasing after goblins, hobgoblins, and various other goblinoids, but eventually tackling them into the dirt and mud and, uh, you know, seizing them. And Pettigang sort of seeing you all coming with one of the captains of the Aurora watch is like, sold me out, I see. Mm. Too good to be true. You've made a very bad choice this day, you you. Is he within 30 feet of us? Well, he's being dragged off elsewhere for question. I, can I, can, I cast Formosage and make like, the lion roll behind him again. And then there's another yeah. jump again, yes. Can, can I go over there and just punch him? Because I just want to. Alright, give me a flat uh, give me a flat attack roll. Because we know how much damage this is probably going to do. <laughs> oh shit! I might kill him. I mean, if you punch him, it's one plus your strength modifier. That is quite true. So it would only be plus three, but you know that's four damage as you knock him in the gut and he spits in your face. But eventually, you know. So this lion. Let us uh, tend to it. Yes. Please. Keep as soon as I want to see if it will let me do uh, some lay on hands on it. I will see if it, if it wants to let me. All right. Well, going back down, it does seem to be, and it does recognize uh, Lissana as you're going down. I'm going to walk up to it and let it know we brought help. And it does sort of stand back from the cage and just looks expectantly. I'm going to try my best to open the door again. Strong check, please. Question, before she does that. I will. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, just because I'm having so much fun with this spell today... Formaturgy says one of the things you can do is instantaneously cause an unlocked door window to fly open or slam shut. Now I realise this is technically a locked door, but I assume it imparts some sort of force. Can I use that to try and help her just push the door open and give her help on that? Or is Dave going to help her anyway and it becomes irrelevant? Uh, not with that particular spell in use. Yeah, that was worth an ask. Yeah, I will but, uh... help her open it. All right. So Give a, strength uh, and advantage. Strength at advantage, yes. Well, that will help. Yeah, with a uh, natural twenty, being able to push that thing open, and uh, it comes walking out, sort of looking curious at all of you, as it, you know, it's sort of looking, sort of <sighs> a little pitifully, as it's looking up at the sky and then at its own wings, as it just folds them up, but. Can I sort of does can I slow, can I slowly walk up to it and say calm down I just want to help and can I touch mm -hmm. it and do lay on hands with five points Okay yeah that you can and uh, it is very wary at your touch as you your hands do get into its mane and there is seem to be sort of a calm when you do happen to sort of lay on hands on it and it does seem to continue looking at you and sort of looking back at its wings and back at you again. Can I look at his wings? Uh, you seem to, you see that there it has actually been some damage to sort of the muscles, probably not just sort of a uh, flying uh, sort of. What is the word for the feathers that help you to fly? Because if it's flight feathers, I'm going to scream. I believe the word uh, is feathers. I'm pretty sure it is. Is it flight feathers? I think so. I have no idea. Does anyone in chat? Uh, does anyone in chat have a pet flight bird? feathers? Yes, it is literally flight feathers. Penne yeah. volatis. Remages. <laughs> the flight feathers are known as remages. Ah, remages. That's the other thing. So. So you do see that the the remages have been plucked, but you do see sort of like budding remages and some healing of musculature that had been uh, 
probably, I guess you could say not quite hamstring, but similar to at sort of the the sort of joints at the sort of shoulder-ish where those wings would come out. So, you know, something like a hamstring cut. But Is there know, anything I can do to help? To help more. To help well, it, it seems more? to be that, uh, well, it seems to be that some of your healing had helped restore a bit of it. Can I try and pour would more Lizana, points into it? Would Lazana know what's going on? Uh, you can give me a bit of a general intelligence check to make the association. Nope. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but you can definitely pump in more, Dave. Uh, I have the feeling that it's it's regenerating on celestial energy, so I'm just going to pull, pull, pour in 515 points. I mean, I'm just looking to try and keep it calm, so. Yeah, it seems to be relatively calm, and getting that rest of it, you seem to be, it seems to be much calmer as the rest of that celestial energy goes in. And it's sort of, there's a bit of a, well, it's a bit of a bad smell in your face as it sort of huffs into your face. But it seems to be that it has some basic flight feathers back, and its musculature is doing better now. Uh, so it looks like it could be able to fly, just probably not at the pace that it's used to. But you've definitely helped accelerate that. Um, as it sort of takes a step back and with a large flap of the wings is able to get onto the, uh, the before, rock. With a before bit of a push. it flies away, I want to touch it while it looks at me and do a prayer and then let it go. All right. Well, uh, sort of as you were holding on to it before you sort of let go again, it did let you hold on and whatever you did say was done. But it did get up onto that sort of large rock. So it's taken a long breath and big roar before it pushes itself up hard to try to fly away. It's definitely slower than you would expect for it, but, you know, it's just getting its flight feathers back. Would I would I know, based on my religion, how I just helped it heal? Because I probably am just as confused as the rest of us. You may, with a religion check. It seems to be that sort of Impressive. your origin of, you know, being divine energy did help accelerate and regenerate its sort of healing process. Uh, given sort of the origin of your magic, it seemed to have done well and synchronized with it. Because he's also celestial. Just because he's celestial. Okay. Bingo. Fair. I'll explain that to Lasana since Lasana is interested in animals. Not technically an animal? Well, I mean... It I mean. it's qualifies on the basis of we can be can be cuddled equals yes, therefore Lasana yeah, is interested. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Being in Point. my way, Bellano will be just muttering. He himself really because the others can't understand in really that... I want to be a big cat like that someday. Could have tamed it. <laughs> no, I couldn't. <laughs> oh. Give me just half a tick. There's something I actually need to look up because technically something did happen. Okay. Noted. All right.
well, the quill, you feel sort of a sense of accomplishment and sort of a strength in your arm that was definitely not quite there before. Perhaps perhaps doing such a thing to a creature like that has gained its friendship, favor, and a blessing of sort. Okay. So we'll see exactly what that does at another point in time. But uh, okay. you can, funnily enough, you have ticked down one of your little prophetic doings. Do I need to write this down somewhere? Not really, but it's or, just or are you, something. You're keeping it. I'm okay. keeping it, but I remember all the way, way back, you had actually said you wanted to befriend a flying creature. Well, um, oh you have my befriended God. a flying creature. At least one of the two of you was paying attention. Oh my God, you're right. As I mean, I didn't, realized... write I didn't well, write it through this guy's. I didn't write it through this guy's. Well, you never know, but uh, yeah, you did befriend a flying creature. Okay. That said, uh, goodness, I already forgot his name myself. I am bad with names. Let's see, scrolling well, all the, the way up. Keep yeah, person. Moroki will be sort of looking at us like, well, it is a creature that needs to be going on its own way. And hopefully it does find its own way where it does need to. At least we know it is for good. I hope. You have definitely it earned the favor of the Aura Watch here. And I will definitely make sure that it is known to my superiors in uh, Roshona that uh, you are a friend to your house. And you may be able to find more work in Roshona if you wish to learn more of our side of things. I'd, I'd, I'd be interested in that. Uh, that, that, that could 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 be in, in uh, a a a a a wow words that's just me fucking hot words this time that's not even him that could that would be a education 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 or that could be worth a visit yes uh, well what you would need to do is you'll be needing to walk along the hallowed path off to the east you'll be able to stick to the road and well. Let us just say that if you follow the path, you will eventually find yourself to Rosona. Oh, seems easy enough. Is there anything dangerous on the road there? Oh, there may be some creatures of ill notes, depending upon uh, what sort of wild you may come across there. The weather can be a bit inhospitable at times, but... As long as you do not go too far into Vermalok, you should be all right. Okay. So no roaming bandits? Bandits are always at large. Well, but you seem enough. quite capable. Yeah, he says but that yes, now. That's because uh... he only saw one attack roll from Dave. Mm -hmm. But yes, mm. uh, Vermalok Wildwood... Uh, it's, it can be quite dangerous with what lies within. So be careful when you pass by it. I'm sorry, what lies within? Dangerous beasts of all sort, monstrous predators, warped by the gods. Hmm. But... Yes, I believe you should just be very wary. Only the most experienced and well-armed hunters dare to enter the Vermalock. Okay, fair enough. One of it, we end up right in the middle of it. Mm-hmm.
Wouldn't surprise me, honestly. Wouldn't surprise you, no. But I suppose that you are going to, uh, now that you've got your bits and duns, you're probably going to pay for another evening, yes? Yes. Another Before evening, you probably... Yeah. Yeah. And I imagine Dave Any, uh... goes directly back to that pub. <laughs> back <laughs> us. I'm not, because I'm in a little bit of a celestial thing. Oh, that's I'm... true being religious and stuff and not they're gonna i'm gonna pray a lot uh, being religious i and am stuff. however i am however as we're walking away gonna say i did get to pet it i mean catholics and their wine but that's a different matter yeah yeah okay <laughs> wine but not like blood <laughs> I mean, I guess... <laughs> Let's not get too much into it. <laughs> this is really... Let's... No, let's not go that route. It's... Let's not. We, are, we only have about 15 minutes left of this stream. That we do. So it'll be five silver for your next night to stay at the uh, inn that you had done before. You've definitely flush uh... with cash and you are... You've got favor of the uh, Aurora Watch, so you're not going to be too hassled if things happen to go across. But, uh, Belenor, can you give me a uh, wisdom saving throw as you probably enter your trance for the evening as the others have gone to bed? Uh, I... No. Well, oh. that That's fine then. <laughs> oh, I just said once, Didn't and you only rolled once. I don't see the second roll at least. Don't yeah, I don't see second yeah, roll. Yeah, I only see one. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the... nah. Weird. In any case, uh, you do feel this wind brushing at the back of your mind and. The sound of leaves. It is not a vision unbidden, but one that is gently pressed forward to you. Uh, sort of in your mind's eye, you see... You actually see sort of a tall figure. Similar to what you have seen before. Skin, pale, but woody long, long hair of red leaves. As they motion behind them and you see great, tall, pale trees with vibrant crimson leaves that slowly, slowly grow white as webs begin to cover them and the trunks growing black with the bodies of wriggling creatures. And there is only a small whisper like that of wind between leaves and trees. Please, do come. Aid is needed. The wilds are being choked. Follower of the mother, please come to my own aid. And then that vision would fade. Oh, remember that forest we weren't supposed to go to? We're yeah, going. funny how things work like that. <laughs> that <is> Shocker. <laughs> It's almost like, for those of us who were watching Rocky's stream earlier, and saw him... Oh, we're going, yeah. And saw him making a forest with distinctly red trees in it, covered in fucking spider's webs. Yeah. I mean... Foreshadowing intensifies. Just a little bit foreshadowing. But that's what happens when you get maps. Hey, that's fair.
Also, I'm so surprised about for what actually worked. It was are surprising we, are, are as well, we but I was expecting it. Are, are we ending the episode there, by the way? Uh, I was about to say, uh, Freechy, you had a dream, which is curious to say. Indeed. Elves generally don't dream. Well, generally, but you were given something of a vision. What do you tell the rest of your party? Do I tell the rest of the party right now? I mean, uh, supposedly they're resting. Well, when they wake up, at least. And that sounds like something to discuss next time. Mm, that it does. So, looks like uh, the elf has made the decision here. Next up. <laughs> Me too. Alrighty then. How are we leaving things if not with a cliffhanger? I would suggest us leaving things where we're literally falling off the cliff. It seems very reasonable, just tumbling down. Uh, that does bring us to the end of the stream and the show and the episode. Uh, stream title next week, Belenor gets us all killed because of a dream. I think we can agree on that already. Um, you pretty much had what was almost pretty much a skill challenge here. But that got circumvented by a... Uh... <laughs> Fucking cantrip. I had cantrip. <laughs> but other skills were put in and makes sense, but um I'm just gonna say I'm gonna be frustrating you guys with your first puzzle very, very soon. Yeah. Um R Rocky. Mm. I want to uh make a suggestion. And I know you're the boss, but I still want to make a suggestion. For Polyos Figuring out how to use a cantrip that well, I think, I, in my opinion, I think he kind of deserves inspiration, because <laughs> I would have never thought of that. I mean, Polias, are you missing inspiration? Yes, I used inspiration in episode, like, three. Then uh, you can have that back for fantabulous use. Yay! I'm so happy. Outside the box thinking. <laughs> That I'm was still absolutely so genius. They would try to put something in a box. Yeah, I'm still so surprised like that worked. That that was absolutely genius. <laughs> I would have never thought of that. I'm still so surprised that worked. 